Welcome to our video on double insulated lighting. Here we will try to explain the differences between double insulated lights and standard light fittings. A double insulated light can always be identified by the square within a square logo found on the instructions, the box and the fitting. A normal light fitting will have the electrical earth logo displayed on the instructions and the box as well as the fitting. A double insulated light does not require an earth. Because of this, there are only two terminals on the fitting. One for negative and one for positive. Here you can see the two cables from the fitting entering the protective sheath, then entering the connector block, where they would meet your own electrical wiring. A normal light will have three terminals, the extra one being for the earth connection. On this double insulated example, you can see that not only does the incoming cable have a protective sheath to stop any loose wires touching any part of the light, it also actually has the connector block outside of the light fitting, away from any metal material that may come live should a problem occur. All the connections are safely made away from the fitting in a ceiling void space. Other examples of double insected lights sometimes have the connector block inside the fitting, but this depends upon the manufacturer and is still perfectly safe. It is quite normal for double insulated or class 2 lights as they are sometimes known to be made of metal. The protective coverings or double insulation of the electrical cables prevent any potentially loose wires from touching any exposed parts of the light fitting. In this brief example we've used ceiling lights to demonstrate, however, the same applies to double insulated down lights, spot lights, wall and outdoor lights. For more information or to see a large range of double insulated lighting you can visit our website at www.double-insulated-lighting.co.uk